Hello and welcome to another video on standard deviation. This might be the first or the second. I'm not sure what order I'm going to pick, but it's such an important depth. It's such an important concept that I'm making you guys watch it a few times, just so you can see different days of me showing it and making sure you're not missing anything about it. To make sure you understand the definition, I mean the formula. If you understand the formula, then you understand the definition. And it's really not that difficult. So the standard deviation is basically the typical distance, the typical distance, the data set is from the mean as a whole. And what does that mean? It's almost like this. If I gave you this data set, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay, so I gave you 5, 3. So I say find the average. And you would say 3. Because if you add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be um, 15. Um, I have 5 of those. So the x bar would be equal to 3. And I'd say, okay, what's the standard deviation? This is how we denote the standard deviation. It's an s of an x. And the only reason I use x here is because that's the variable that I'm using. It could be, I could do the mean as a y, and then this would be s of y. But the standard deviation is the typical distance a data set is from the mean as a whole. So it's kind of like saying, how much variability do you have here? How much error? Okay, well, hopefully you could see this, this concept. Okay, hopefully you can see this concept really quick to say, well, there is no difference. They're all the data points are the same. So if you did this on a histogram, it would just be three, and I would put five, the number of threes in the bin, and that would be it. Okay, not that interesting. There's not a lot of variation. So this is why, and, and I'm going to show you an example. This is an example why, because because some people say, well, why don't we just report the center? Like the center's, if I, you know, center's like one of the most important things. Okay, I give it, I give a test. Okay, I want to, if I give a test, I'm going to find the average and say, well, this class did better than this class, or, or, you know, however, if I say, if I say, what's you guys' heights, I'm going to find the average. So I'm going to show you why we report the uh, standard deviation. Also, why we report, report the standard deviation okay and I'm gonna write it I'm gonna be consistent and write it like this so then you know what I'm talking about so so what happens here is this, this is why we have to do it because I'm gonna say this is my histogram and remember we always report it with the mean Okay, we always report it with the mean. So whenever you see standard deviation, we want some type of uni, unimodal and and um, symmetric uh, distribution. So here's my mean. I think everybody would agree with that. Okay, so these are test scores. And the lowest test score was an 80. Okay, and the highest one was a 99. Okay, everybody with me? So the average here was a 90. Okay, or let me let me switch my numbers up. I'm so so sorry, because <clears throat> that's probably not the best. So let's say let's say the lowest one was a 50, and the highest one was 100. Okay, so the average let's say was a 75. Everybody with me? Okay, so these are test scores, and this is the number. Of students so I'm doing it as a count not as a percent okay in a histogram you could do percents or you could do counts it's not like a side-by-side -side bar graph like we were doing okay so now I'm going to give you the second class okay Okay, so this one, the lowest score was a 20, and the highest score was a 99, and the average was 75. Now you see we would report, if, this was our, if these were our histograms, 
if these were our histograms, uh, we would report the mean and the standard deviation because these are both unimodal and symmetric. Okay, so the X bar, this would be my test scores. And this would be the number of students. So let's just do some comparison. If I just reported the shape, unusual features, and the center, you know, I'd be missing out. Just think about it. I mean, look at, look, look at, look at this one. Typically, which distribution, okay, which distances were closer to the mean? Typically. So which standard deviation is smaller? Which standard, it's very important, standard deviation is smaller. See, you don't even know the definition. I'm, I mean, you know the definition, but you don't know the formula for it, okay? The typical distance the data set is from the mean. So what I'm asked, what that says is, which data, this data set or this data set, were the dat was the data as a whole closer to this guy right here, okay? To this guy right here, because the, both the centers are the same. Now, if you guessed this distribution, let's see how this looks. If you guessed this distribution, you got it right, because typically these data points here are closer to this number right here, okay? Where, whereas if you look at this distribution, if you look at this distribution, these distribution are more spread out. You see, you see spread, more spread out. Another thing I could say is they are less consistent, consistent. Another thing I could say is there are, I say all these things all the time. These are variable, these are terms you have to get comfortable with. M more variability, okay? More variability because these distances are a lot farther. See, they're a lot farther. Okay? So when we find the standard deviation, we actually find, when we find the standard deviation, we go ahead and find it's going to be a number, okay? It's a number that represents represents the typical distance away. It represents the distance. Represents the. I'm, it's bad to say average. Represents the. I could say typical. Sorry, typical distance a data point is from X bar and it's all just comes with practice it all comes with practice you have to look at many 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 distributions and it, it may come easier to some people than the other people I mean just the way it is okay because so so for example this one it goes from 75 the the X bar is 75 and the max is a hundred okay so the typical distance here might go up to like maybe, I would say, if I was going to guess, guess, I'd say the standard deviation was 7. So all that means is that this, that I could go up 7 to 82, up 7 to 82, let me change the color, and down 7. If I go down 7, I'd be at 68. So the typical distance would be kind of in here, okay? That means if something happens over here it's definitely not typical okay and we're all gonna we're, we're gonna t talk about that and I got a whole video on how to find this okay and when I and when I report this when I report it I kinda do it like this okay I might have forgot for the mean I'm not sure if I put this on the video but I would say this is for the mean the the mean of the heights or whatever the what is, whatever you meant, the mean of the test scores for the who for the students was about whatever it is. Okay, whatever it is. Okay. 
Now, there might be something interesting about that that you could write more upon, but for the reporting, that's all you have to do. Now, for the standard deviation, you want to talk about consistency. You want to talk about variability. Um, you do want to report the number. So you'd say the standard deviation, standard deviation, oh, make sure you put units on this X bar. And the units on the standard deviation are the same. So the units on the so so the x bar, I know I'm stopping. I'm sorry. The units are the same. See if I was teaching in a class, I'd have forgot that. So if x bar is in feet, standard deviation is in feet. Okay. See, 75 feet. T one typical distance away is seven feet. But these are scores. But 82 score. Okay. Seven above, seven down. We're gonna learn a whole bunch more about it. The mean of what for the okay? The standard deviation of the what's, whatever you're dealing with, of the scores, was about whatever it is, okay? There was either a lot of variability, something like this, variability, or vice versa. Okay, talk about how much variability. Talk about if I was going to talk about this one, I'd say the standard deviation is 75. Or I'd say the standard, the the mean of the scores for the students was 75 with the standard deviation of seven. Therefore, most people scored between a 68 and a and an 82. Okay, and we're going to learn what percentage falls in here later on. See, there's a percentage of people that fall inside one standard deviation both ways like all these people see this is area area is just how many people that you have see number of people number of students so this represent this block here represents the number of students this represents the number of students this represents the number of students and this represents all these represents the number of students well if you put that number of students over the whole you're going to get a certain percentage and it's going to be around 68 percent but we're going to learn that later okay so anyways watch both videos on standard deviation and then come and ask me questions because we're going to do a whole bunch on standard deviation. I apologize as this ran long. Have a nice day.